So there's two Hollywood executives off the top of my head that I really despise. Number two is Kathleen Kennedy from Lucasfilms. I don't hate her. I just think she's just bad at her job. She never, she doesn't come across just being a person that's like, oh my god, I hate Kathleen Kennedy. I just, no, she's just bad. Like she 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 chooses bad scripts. She chooses bad directors. She should have been fired a long time ago. I don't know why she hasn't been let go by Lucasfilms or Disney. Maybe she got freak off tapes or somebody. I don't know. But she keeps her job. But number one is a guy that I really hate. <laughs> and that's David Zaslav. And he's because he's just he's worse than Kathleen Kennedy. And, and that's a lot to say. But David Zaslav is just an incompetent horrible studio executive by one of the worst ever but, but okay so here's the thing David Zavala says that Warner Brothers must deliver more consistency after Joker 2 flop quote it's in the industry of hits and misses we must acknowledge that our, in, in our studios businesses must deliver more consistency even in the industry of hits and misses we must acknowledge that our studios business must deliver more consistency hmm unquote you know what's consistent, Mr. Zaslav? Consistent was the relationship between TNT and the NBA, where they had a doubleheader on every Thursday night, followed by Inside the NBA with Ernie Johnson Jr., Shaq, Kenny Smith, and Charles Barkley. That is the model of consistency. There's nothing... Law and Order SVU is, 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 is probably cl close behind when it comes to consistency on television. Then we're talking about the NBA's relationship with TNT. And guess what you did? You said, Mr. Zaslav, TNT or Warner Brothers don't need the NBA. He said, we don't need him. Now, Adam Silver, who looks like a nerdy type, heard that and was like, what did he say? <laughs> he said like that. Because I think David Stern, the former commissioner of the NBA, was a tough guy. A short guy, but very tough guy. I think David Zaslav is one of those dudes like Trump that if he sees a skinny guy with glasses, he thinks that guy is a nerd. Well, look, well, sir, Adam Silver might look very geeky, but he's a very smart guy. Maybe not as tough as, as, as Stern, but he's a tough guy as well. And guess what? You know what Adam Silver did? Adam Silver said, oh, he went full, he went full Denzel. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. We, oh, you don't, oh, you don't need us, huh? Huh? Okay. Okay. The, the TNT doesn't need the NBA, huh? Okay. Okay. And then the next thing we know, Adam Silver negotiates a deal when the TNT deals up. He does, negotiates a deal with NBC for the NBA to be on NBC and Peacock and, do, and does a side deal with Amazon Prime, which I think is are bad moves. The coverage are not going to be as good on NBC as it was in TNT. TNT got Kevin Harlan. TNT got the, got the inside the NBA. TNT is, just, is, is uh, the EI and Eagles good. It's just over. I didn't like I didn't like the NBA coverage when um, it was with D Wade. I forget who was who was the uh, the announcer was when he was covering um, uh, the the men's men's basketball during the Olympics. It was okay, but it's just you you already felt like this is not going to be a good situation for the league long term. There's there's the, people love the NBA on TNT, and they have a spinoff. They have they also have games on TBS on Tuesdays, but then the games were okay. The, the studio crew wasn't as good. Uh, but Thursday nights it's NBA night, and there's a David Zavlov saying that the 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 the, the TNT that TNT and it and WB does not need uh, the NBA is just horrific. Ter Charles Barkley, whose whose boss is Zavlov, said this is the worst, stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like he criticized Zavlov, and it's like this is stupid what you just did. You killed a forty year relationship which was consistent, and the Joker thing is funny to me because Zavlov could have stepped in and said to Todd Phillips, "Hey man." Musicals do not do well. And comic book fans hate musicals. We're gonna let me see a rough cut of the film. Now, I guess whatever deal that Philip Todd Phillips had, the director of Joker 2, he said, like, well, you know, I don't have to show you this. And I think the first time people saw it was in Cannes or something like that. And the response was, was mixed. Even after that, I would have said, man, we need reshoots. This is not going to work. Like the first Joker cost 60 million, made a billion dollars. The second one made was, was 250 million. 
And after seeing that film, I would have said, we need reshoots. And sometimes reshoots are good and sometimes reshoots are bad. But I really do think Joker 2 needed reshoots. And I, I, I have a feeling if they did reshoots, I think it would have worked out better. But they just left it as is. James Gunn, the head of DC Studios, like, we just leave it as it. Like, there's nothing we can do here. <laughs> and just let it go. But yeah, I hate David Zaslov because he's a horrible boss. He's the one. He's the guy who brought in Chris Licht, who was the showrunner of the late show of Stephen Colbert, late night talk show, and made him the head of CNN uh, last year. And it was disastrous. And Chris Licht is now gone. He he screwed up WB Animation. Like this guy, he's the guy who pulled Batgirl. Now again, it's Batgirl, but he pulled the film, and people were kind of like, well, at least let the film out, see what it was like. <laughs> he pulled the film. Like even if you pulled the film, at least put it on streaming. Like. <laughs> Just don't, how bad was it? If you were able to put out Joker 2, Bad Girl couldn't have been that bad, right? Zazlov is just a horrible boss. He reminds me of just people, I've seen people like this, where for some reason they always get promotions. They oh, they end up having big retirement parties. They end up making a lot of money. They have, have, have a lot of stocks. It's like, how did this happen? This guy is horrible. I'm sure right now someone's working at Chipotle. Plopping some, gu- some guacamole. Look at their manager saying like, how in the hell did he become manager? He can't even spell guacamole. Plop. <laughs> it is true. We are always surrounded by people who become managers and VPs and presidents of, of organizations. Um, and we don't know how they got those jobs. Are they are they relatives? Are they friends? Do they have freak off tapes? What <laughs> for whatever reason, these people are in charge and they shouldn't be. And I look at the, the Warner Brothers board, Warner Brothers Discovery board. And it's like, what are you guys doing? Sazloff makes 50, about 50 million a year. I think it's like 40, 49.7 a year. He does not deserve his salary. When, when Joker 2 came out, he said, you know what? We're taking $5 million off your salary just for not trying to fix this thing. <laughs> you, should, you should lose money if you're losing money for the company like that. This is crazy. But guys like that, even if they do fire him, guess what's going to happen to Zaslav? They'll give him a big golden parachute. He's going to either get another job or just chill, sit on some corporate boards and make money over there. There is no penalty when you move up that high if you're horrible. The funny thing is, the, the messed up thing is, I brought Kathleen Kennedy, I brought up this dude. There's no guy in the industry who looks like me. There's no guy running a studio who looks like me. Believe me, if I did a tenth what Kathleen Kennedy did at, at with Lucas Films, if I did a third of how bad David Zaffold has been with Warner Brothers Discovery, I would have been fired so long ago, so long ago. <laughs> so I hate these people so much because they are they're bad at their jobs and they keep their jobs. So when he's talking about consistency, I don't even know what he's talking about. It's like pot calling the kettle black. It's like, dude, you're not consistent. You're horrible at your job. Oh my God. So what do you think about David Zaslov? If you if you follow the story of David Zaslov, tell me what you think of him. And w- do you think we should give this dude more time? You think he can turn it around? Or do you think we should fire him if, if we could? <laughs> and what about Kathleen Kennedy? Like, why do you think Kathleen Kennedy has kept her job? Okay, fine. She was Steven, Steven Spielberg's secretary at one point. That was like 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, not her. <laughs> She's bad. He's bad. Man, but they're gonna. But when they when they get fired or let go, they're gonna have so much money. That's the tragedy. Man, the rich gets richer, but doing a horrible job. <laughs>